Hi, I'm Rabbi Micah Buck Yael, and I'd like to look at just a little taste of rereading Jewish stories with an eye for diversity. Um, it's one of my core beliefs that the way that we read our stories reflects how we think about ourselves as Jews. When we read our stories in ways that repeat the mainstream, reinforce the mainstream, that's what we get. And when we read our stories in ways that teach us that our communities are broader and more diverse than we ever thought, that's what we get. It's one of my core beliefs that the Jewish community cannot survive without not only embracing, but learning from and changing in response to the full breadth of who we are as Jews. So with that core belief in mind, I want to take a very quick look at a piece of text that I love. It's not a Jewish story, by which I mean it's a story in the Jewish Torah, but it's not a story about Jews. It's a story about humans. It's a story of the Tower of Babel. And I think most of us have heard that story in some form or another. Everyone is living together, every human on earth is living together, speaks the same language, shares the same ideas, and decide, hey, wouldn't it be a fantastic idea if we built a tower higher than anyone has ever built before? If we build this tower high enough, it can even reach the heavens. And God looks down and God sees every human on earth working together on the same project, building a tower, and says, that's a terrible idea. I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna confuse people's languages. I'm gonna separate people from one another. I'm gonna create so much difference between people that they can't build this tower. And that's what God does. Now, at first this seems like a really weird story. It's hard to understand what could be so terrible about every person on earth working together in pursuit of a common goal. And our rabbis look again and again and again to try to find what exactly could they be doing wrong. And here's the comment that I want to share with you. This comment comes from a commentator called Ha'amek Devar. He's living in the 19th century, so he's much more recent. And he says, they all spoke the same words, but the Torah never even tells us what those words were. And it actually doesn't even matter what those words were. What matters is that they were all the same. When everybody speaks the same words, when everybody thinks the same thoughts, that, says God, is no good. And he takes it even farther and he says, not only did everyone share the same ideas, but people were so afraid that somebody might get a new idea that they never wanted to let anybody leave their community. And he even suggests that they would go so far as to throw into the fire anyone who tried to leave the community or bring a new idea in. He says they, thought, they sought to ensure that no one would ever leave their society and anyone who veered from this uniformity among them was judged with burning just like they did to our forefather, Avraham. And these same words became the very obstacle, such that they would remove anyone who didn't think like them. Now, to me, this is a mind-blowing text. The idea that somehow we've gotten from everyone working together and somehow this upsets God to, it's not that. It's everybody refusing to let something different into the room. This upsets God. And our commentator takes us to a slightly different place. He says, this is a human story. I know it's a story about everyone, but I want to make it a Jewish story, and I want to make it the Jewish story. He says, we're not talking about people way back in the time of the Tower of Babel, but we're talking about what happened to Abraham when he first got the idea to fall in love with God. And when that was a new idea, he was on the outside. And he knew that he had to form life in a way that was different than his parents would ever recognize. And that, when I read this story, and when I read this story not just as a people story, but as a Jewish story, that says to me that here's something that should be at the core of what we do and how we are. That the community itself cannot survive even if we think we have the power to build a tower all the way up to the sky, when we all believe the same thing, when we dress the same way, when we look the same, when we love the same, when we inhabit our bodies in the same way, that is not the community that God can look down on and bless. That is the community in which God says, I need to mix things up a little bit more so that you can better serve me. Thanks. I hope that you learned a little something and that you'll dig into more and more of our Jewish texts 
with that same lens, that lens for greater difference and greater diversity.